In this tutorial, we will learn how to create cooldown for our character in Unity. What it means? For example, our character has a skill that we want to enable it each 10 seconds. Here, we should use cooldown. This is our character's skill. When I click on it, this is skill of character plays. First of all, in scene, select the button. Blow it, create an image. Give it a picture, preferably a button image. Change its dimensions and make its color black. Now decrease its opacity till we can see the button in its back. The important point is here. In image component, we have a section called image type. Set this option on field. We have an option called fill amount. That's why adjusting it, image filling amount changes. We have several fill methods. Round angle, which is what we want to use. A straight angle. Right angle. Vertical and horizontal. With this, we only determine filling and emptying of image. The round angle is suitable for our project. Fill origin is the beginning point that image is going to being filled or empty from that. Let's move on to the main job. Name the image as cooldown. Create a new script with this name. Remove a start void. Since we are going to deal with UI, write using unityengine.ui above all codes. Then define a public image called img, which is the image we created. Now in update void, write img.fillamount. Minus equal one times time that delta time. Number one is the emptying speed of fill amount. Let's test. Give a script to cooldown and give the image to it too. Press play. Fill amount decreases rapidly. Reduce its speed to 0.1 for example. This is the result. Now we need to make this happen when user click the button. Select the button. First of all, we need by clicking on the button, it deactivates till user can't click it again. So in button component, lower, click this plus and give the button to it. Now click this part from bottom, select boolean enable. Here let this option be deactivated till when we click the button, the button deactivates too. The next thing to occur after disabling the button is to decrease fill amount of cooldown. So in cooldown script, create a new void called a start cooldown. In it write img which is cooldown image dot fill amount equals to 1. And in update with an if write if fill amount value was bigger than 0 then its amount reduces slowly. Again open unity. By default fill amount cooldown should be 0. Now again select the skill button. Click this plus. Give cooldown to it and select a start cooldown void. Let's test. In play mode, when I click this button, the S skill plays and button gets deactivated. Then cooldown gets activated. Here is the point. After completing cooldown, the button should be enabled again so that the user can click it. So come back in a script, upper, define a public button called power VTN, which is the skill button. And in update, in ifs continue, write else, means if cooldown was zero. Power BTN.enabled becomes true, means activate the button. So far everything is alright, but there's a point. To make the game more optimized, we should avoid the recent commands to be executed continuously in update void. For this, define an integer called manager. In a start cooldown, make manager 1 and in update void, write an if. If manager was equal to 1 and bring commands in it, then make manager 0 in else. With this, only when cooldown is enabled, the commands in update will run, and when it becomes deactivated, commands we wrote in update will execute no more, and in this way, our game is more optimized. Let's test it for last time. Give level button to cooldown and press play. Here is the last result. Now you can use your skill each 10 seconds. If you wanted to change its speed, you can increase 0.1 number. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe us. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.